In this video, I'll be showing you how to use snapdrop.net. So this website is used for wireless file transfers and uh, you're going to need both of the devices that you want to transfer files between to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Uh, the only downside to this website is that um, you need an active internet connection for it to work. So if that is not something you find annoying, then yeah, just head over to the website using any browser you want. And uh, as long as the devices that you want to do the transfer between are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, then you're going to see them on the, you're just going to see an icon for each device. So on my phone, you can see that it is showing a PC and on my PC it is showing the icon of a phone. So to transfer files, all you need to do is just click. I'm going to do it on the PC, but if you want to transfer files from your phone to the PC, all you need to do is just tap the icon and it's going to ask you to choose the files that you wish to transfer. So let's start with the PC. So I'm going to click my phone. So it has opened this folder. I'm going to double click it because unfortunately you cannot transfer folders using this website. You can only transfer files. And you can also transfer multiple files at once. So I'm going to select both of these files. They are pictures and then click open. You can see on my phone, it is requesting that I either ignore or save the files. So I'm going to tap save and then I'll tap download and then it's going to download the file. So if I check the downloads, you can see that it has downloaded one of the files. If I go back, you'll see it is asking me to download the second file. So I can tap this checkbox if I am downloading a lot of files to avoid this pop-up and just let the files save on their own. Another thing you can do with Snapdrop is send text. Normally I would not suggest sending private text. So if it's not like passwords, because this is a website, I'm not really sure who owns the website. I just know that it works. So if you want to send any text, don't send anything sensitive, just send stuff that you don't really mind if it's exposed. So long press the icon. This time I'm sending from the phone to the computer and then paste the text or you can type the text if you want. Then you tap send. You can see it over here, it has been sent, so I can either copy or close if I like. If I want to use the text, I can do it this way and copy, or I'll click here, and, and the text will be copied to my clipboard. You can also drag and drop files, you don't always have to click. So let's say I want to send this file, this file is around 200 megabytes, I can just drag and drop it on the phone. So it's going to start downloading on my phone, you can see it. But because it is using my network, then it's a bit slow. So normally I don't use this for heavy files, just very light files. So that's basically how you use snapdrop.net. Always make sure you check the name of the device you wish to send to. Like you can see on my phone, it's it has the icon of the computer and the name is right below it. On the computer, you can see the name is over here. So if you have multiple devices connected to the same network, they are all going to be displayed. So just make sure you check the name before you do any kind of sending. All right, so if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Subscribe for more videos and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.